Regardless of whether you're camping in the Alps, the Lake District or the Himalaya, you'll need a suitably robust shelter to provide a haven from the elements. Dome and tunnel tents are particularly good if you're car camping. But if you've got to carry everything on your back, you'll want to trace some living space for a reduction in the weight and bulk of the tent. There's an array of different tent designs on the market. All of them are trying to strike that perfect balance between maximising the living and sleeping space whilst minimising the weight and pack size. Here are four very different backpacking tents. This one person tent is constructed around a single traverse hoop. The sleeping compartment runs perpendicular to the pole, which is secured using lightweight guy lines combined with power frame power clips and internal bracing. It's a surprisingly stable tent, and there's room inside for the solo traveller or two at a push. It might look small outside, but inside there's enough room for someone who's six foot like me to lie down and sit up comfortably. If you're camping with a companion, you'll probably need a tent with two or even three poles to increase the amount of living and sleeping space. Some tents, like this one, can be pitched inner first, outer first or together for maximum flexibility in varying weather conditions. This tent also has a gargantuan covered porch, which means you can keep all your kit under cover outside the sleeping compartment. This feature makes living in a tent during an extended period of bad weather much more pleasant, and pockets in the sleeping area help to keep things tidy. Like a lot of high quality tents, this one has a bathtub style floor, which significantly reduces the chance of water creeping in at ground level. Another popular type of backpacking tent is constructed around a semi-geodesic skeleton. Unlike a traverse hoop or a tunnel tent, a semi-geodesic tent is self-supporting. Once you've erected it, you can simply pick it up and move it if you want to get a better view from the front door or to keep the porch out of the wind. High-grade aluminium poles like the ones supplied with this tent are lighter than cheaper metal poles with no compromise in strength or durability. However, if you're planning to camp above the snow line or on a very exposed site, you're probably going to want a full geodesic tent. A geodesic tent consists of a number of interconnected panels that form a self-supporting structure. Unlike a three-pole, semi-geodesic tent, a full geodesic tent has a minimum of four poles. This two-person geodesic tent is impressively stable in high winds. One of the differences between geodesics and other types of tent is that they usually need to be pitched in a tent first. This means that you'll have to get the tent up quickly in wet weather. This particular tent also has two entrances, which is useful in bad weather and when camping with lots of gear. It also helps to maximise airflow on hot nights. If you want a generous amount of living and sleeping space, get a two-person tent like this if you camp on your own, or a three-person tent if you go camping with someone else. Regardless of the type of tent you use, place a nylon footprint, a piece of plastic, or your closed cell foam mat under the expensive sewn-in ground sheet to reduce the chance of it being damaged by rough ground. This tent has mosquito nets at the back and front. They allow a cooling airflow in hot weather whilst keeping bugs at bay. Cotswold Outdoor stocks dozens of different tents. But how does the company decide which models to stock? To find out, I'm speaking to senior buyer Dave Housley, who is responsible for selecting the tents. Dave, there are literally thousands of tents on the market. How many make it to your shortlist each year? Well, I'd probably start looking at around about five to six hundred models um, in my sort of preliminary selection. And then I have to pricey that down to a size of range, which is uh, offers the best possible sort of choice to the customer. So I end up between sort of 48 and 52 models uh, a year. And, uh, and what I try and do is offer the sort of best value for money that you can possibly get for uh, any given price points. You clearly put a lot of time and effort into selecting the best possible range of tents. But when it comes to Cotswold, that's only half the story. 
Yes, it is. Um, what we're doing here today is actually we've got uh, members of staff from uh, a lot of our Southern stores, uh, some of our team from Mail Order, some of our head office uh, team as well. And the idea is that obviously they get to see all the tents, uh, get to pitch them, because at the end of the day, it's nothing quite like a customer coming in and actually speaking to somebody that's actually had a chance to pitch the tents. Uh, don't get me wrong, a lot of our team are enthusiasts anyway and have probably got experience particularly with the backpacking tents, but this gives them a real opportunity to see the whole range. It also gives me an opportunity to explain to them why I've selected the range um, because of, sometimes it's not that obvious and uh, particularly these days there's so many different tent models to look at this gives them a chance to ask me questions and I can feedback that information to them. What sort of features will you look for when choosing an ideal tent for say lightweight backpacking? Well, I think the key consideration is obviously the weight of the tent uh, and obviously how much room's inside. But also, if you're, say, going, um, I don't know, cycle touring, you want to have fairly short pole sections so they'll fit inside the panniers. That's less critical for somebody that's actually going to carry the tent. But also, it's really horses for courses. If, you, if you're going super light backpacking or, say, doing a mountain marathon, then weight is absolutely critical. But ultimate durability isn't. Whereas if you, say, going off on a trip around the world, then something a little bit more durable, but perhaps a little bit heavier is worthwhile considering. So we're trying to really cater for all those markets. You can see Dave's latest tent selection in store, in the catalogue and online. Cotswold also hosts several tent shows each year where you can directly compare dozens of different designs.